Are you ready to learn to get rid of stress in your life? To learn how to deal with the emotional turmoil that causes strokes, heart attacks, bad health, and even weight gain? Life-changing habits for work, family, and everyone you deal with start here with Andrew Whitman. It's time to get warrior tough on WCCP 105.5 The Roar. Here's Andrew Whitman and Dutch Coleman. Dude, I love the gray in the beard, man. We're like twins now. I'm Arnold and you're Danny DeVito, though. <laughs> Welcome to Get Warrior Tough, most monumental hour in media anywhere. We are leadership and mental toughness coaches, Andrew Whitman and the Dutch Coleman. What's up, brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm here. Feeling good. Oh, it's all, and you're looking good, too. I love the beard, dude. I love that somebody else has gray. It gives us gravitas, don't you think? Uh, I can dig it. I can yeah, dig man. It. Yeah. I did. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Hey, if you guys want to join us on Twitter, use the hashtag Get Warrior Tough. You can find Dutch at the Dutch Coleman, and I am at Warrior Tough PhD. Go to the website getwarriortough.com. Check us out. Fill in your name and email in the Start Now box, and subscribe to all of our latest and greatest stuff. Tons of free content. Go to the Facebook page, like it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, you can get there by just googling Leadership Speaker Andrew Whitman or the Get Warrior Tough Show. It'll all come up. Get the Android app, the Apple app, so you can hear Dutch and I 24-7. We're up there on the Get Warrior Tough Network rolling 24-7. As Dutch likes to say, you have no excuse for not hearing what we have to say. Amen, brother. <laughs> okay. Hey, right before we came, right before I came in the studio, I was watching um, a documentary on Frank Sinatra. And uh, there was a bunch of, uh, like, you know, news footage. It was like, or someone was taking a home video, I'll say, and he was in the recording studio. It was so cool watching, uh, you know, an elite performer behind the scenes while he was in the studio recording. And I was like, you know, that's he was just so relaxed, but on top of his game. I mean, he, he was singing this one song. He gets through the whole thing. They do the take, and, um, and he's like, how long was that? Like, was that, you know, and the guy says, four minutes and 12 seconds. He's like, the first act of Hamlet was longer than that. You know, so he's, it was just cool watching him, and Quincy Jones was in the mix when, when he's real young, and then Count Basie. You know, it was just so cool seeing high-level performers um, at their game. They were all relaxed. They were all having fun, Dutch. That was the biggest thing. Nobody was freaking out. It wasn't a chore. They spent hours and hours together, and they were having fun. You know, I have no idea who any of those people are. I'm too young for that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Me, well, me and Jack are sitting there lost. We don't know we yeah, have any idea. Who Jack just said are. excuses, excuses. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> you could YouTube it, okay? I'm just telling you, it was really, it was cool. It was, it was really just fun to see guys. I love that behind the scenes stuff. And I got to tell you, Dutch. I mean, I have, I enjoy our time together and what we do. I have just a ton of fun. Whether we're out on the, you know, on the podium training law enforcement, we're training corporate, we're doing, you know, public conferences, um, we're doing, you know, trade conferences. When we're doing the studio stuff, we're here on the show. When we do our coaching calls, we've been having a lot of coaching calls here in the last couple of weeks. We're, we're writing books. You know, we got stuff coming out. We're working on coaching manuals. I, I'm having fun, dude. I'm having the time of my life with you, man. I appreciate it. I feel the same, man. I'm telling you, just like like those guys you mentioned, they got to hang out with old blue eyes. I'm old brown eyes. So um, we're headed on the same trajectory as those guys, and and hopefully we'll be coming to it, uh, to an outlet near you in some shape, form, or fashion. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, man, I'm just so excited about the the year we have coming up. You know, we're setting our targets. Uh, you know, get warrior tough as a group. Uh, you know, our group is getting or setting our targets for the year, and uh, it, it's so much fun. Um, you know, not just part. You know, it's this time of year where people personally set their targets. They, you know, it's the end of the year, beginning of the new year. This is a great time to do that personally. Um, we're doing it as you know, as a business and as a group, and it's it's fun. You know, at that level, even more so. Um, you know, and I, we spent the day today, I'm, we just got some stuff done, getting the Christmas tree up and the decorating, you know, I, it's just, uh, it's so cool, um, being able to, uh, hit targets. Like the target was to get the tree up by today. Cause Michaela, my little girl's birthday is on Friday. She's 12 and drew my oldest, you know, starting Citadel. He just turned 18 on Friday. You know, Jesus is about to turn 2035 or something. I can't count anymore. There's not enough candles in the birthday cake, but it's, you know, so this is the time of year we all hit our target, you know, set our targets. So I'm, I, I, I would encourage everybody that's listening, you know, take inventory. Is there, is there something that you would like better in your life in some area of your life? You would like it better. 
well, Dutch and I can help you, and we guarantee that you're going to get improved results of wherever you're at right now. And every life on all eight cylinders, whatever it is, if it's relationships, if it's career and business, you know, we're going to help you uh, get control of your boardroom, your body, mind, and emotions. And now is the time to jump on this thing and, and, you know, go get CEO of you. It's on the website. Join the Phalanx. We're having some great Phalanx calls. I mean, our Dutch, the call last night, was that just not, I mean, it was like drop the microphone good, man, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, man. I, I enjoyed it. I, I love all this. And you're talking about the season. I say tis the season to be great. You know, you can look at it a bunch of different ways. And this is the time where a lot of people, uh, like you said, you start setting targets and you start recalculating, as your as your GPS would say. And you start setting these goals and, 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 and trying to, you know, uh, get ready to hit these targets. This tis the season here. You know, the year in is when you begin to look to, to next year. So what are you looking to next year? What are you looking to the year after that? What are you looking to six months from now? So this is the time, tis the season, to start looking at these things and start getting ready to make an impact, not only on others, but first on yourself. Let's get moving. This is the time. Yeah, and and, and we'll love to be with you in, in the phalanx, shoulder to shoulder with you. We'd love to have you. We have a great group in there right now. Great dialogue. It was fun last night on the call as everybody was, you know, we were going around the horn and everybody was sharing their answers to the critical thinking, to the homework questions. And just, I mean... Dude, I, it's so cool to get everybody's different take, to get everybody's different perspective on stuff. I, and it really is iron sharpening iron. It's just you get so much better when you have all of these. And everybody is a genius. If you've been to any of my stuff, you know that I start out telling you that, that you're a genius. If you understand how the human is built, the human being is a genius. It doesn't matter what your IQ or UQ or any of that is. The, the way that you are built and created, you are a genius. No, not, no question about it. And it's so great to pull out that genius and then get a bunch of them all together. And we spend an hour um, just genius. And, and this is the thing that, you know, Eleanor Roosevelt said this, that small-minded people talk about other people. Average-minded people talk about events. But great performers, elite warriors... They talk about ideas, and that's what we do on the Phalanx is we talk about ideas. And, you, and you're talking about everyone's a genius. You know, when you're in, a, in an environment like this, there's always something to learn. There's always something new because no matter what you see, no matter what you've seen, there's somebody else who saw maybe that same thing but from a different seat, from a different perspective, a different point in time, a different point. in, in, in a, If you picture a three-dimensional plane, you know, there's a whole bunch of different points in time periods in that plane. And so a lot of people can view the same event from different points in that plane, in that three-dimensional uh, world. So if you think about it, you always have something to learn, something new to gather, because there's no way you've looked at that, that idea from every point of view, in every point in time, from every perspective, from every point of experience, uh, insight, all those things. So when you're around elite people thinking about ideas – it's always something new to learn. Right. It's like getting a different camera angle on a replay. You know, was his foot in? Was it out? Well, let's see another angle. Well, here's another angle. Here's another angle. And, and, and there's always the one angle that you don't have that you wish you had. And that's what we do is we cover all those angles, man. And, and you know what? And I don't rob us of your angle. If you're not in the phalanx, not only um, are, do you, you know, you'll learn from us, but we will learn from you. Please don't rob us of your genius. That angle that you're seeing it from, all of us can benefit from it. And how many people would lose the benefit of, you know, your perspective if you don't jump in on this? See, it's a two-way street, man. It's just so awesome. There's just so much give and take and growing. It, it's, it's, uh, it's a giant love fest, man. Well, you owe, that, you owe that to the universe. If you think about it, we all have our own places and points and times in the universe, our own experiences, our own perspectives. We all have that. And I think it's a reason that we're all made the way we are and placed where we are. And we owe that to the universe to share that because when you share that, it completes the universe. It completes a picture. And if your, your perspective is not involved in the universe, then there's a dot. There's a blank spot right there that, that isn't being shared. So we don't know that. We're looking at a blind spot right there where you're right. standing because you're not giving anything to the universe. But when we all begin to share, we all come together then the picture is complete. The three-dimensional object is formed. Absolutely. So stop robbing us, man. Don't be the black hole. That's according to Dutch. In the universe, there's a black spot there, and it's a nothing, there's a void. So, And I know we're kind of joking about this, but I'm very serious about it, that 
every person that's on the call, every person that we come that that's inside the phalanx, we all learn from each other. And I take furious notes and I hear different perspectives. Man, and, and, and it's just fantastic. And I got to tell you, I surround myself with people that don't agree with me um, because if everybody just saw things the way I see them, I'm only operating out of one stream of 126 bits. The 11 million bits, right, is what we take in every second. It goes down to 126 bits per second is what goes to our conscious mind for action. But if so, I get people with different perspectives. I can add your stream, my stream. It's like the Ghostbusters. Remember when you weren't supposed to cross streams? But see, we right. cross streams and we add more streams and it makes us all more powerful as individuals. Um, and it's just... It's a facilitated environment where I, I, I feel empowered and energized. When I get off the call, I am like, I, I'm so pumped up. When I we watch TV or the news or talk radio or something, when I would get like, everything is fear and oh my gosh, and the sky is falling and it's, oh, it's, oh, yeah, the world's gone to hell in a handbasket. And what that does is ramp you up with fear, which shuts half of your brain down. We do the opposite of that, man. We don't, we turn that genius half of your brain back on. It's funny that you use that Ghostbusters example because uh, in the beginning of the movie, that's the one thing they said don't ever do. Don't cross the stream. Right. But when they really needed to get something done, when they needed to defeat that big monster, they needed to combine the streams. And once they crossed the streams and combined them into one big stream, then that was the most powerful they had been at that point. Right. So ever. That, yeah. You're absolutely right. That's a great analogy, a great way to look at it because they discovered that in a process. In the beginning, they thought something different. And then they discovered that only when we all come together like that and those streams do cross are we at our most powerful right and then you could solve the problem and they solve the problem they say yeah i love the ghostbusters thing. Yeah, i'm the movie guy man they're like dude you're like the movie guy i'm like yeah and so i mean there's ghostbusters another mental toughness movie you never would have thought that right i mean i could yeah. i can almost make almost any movie a mental toughness movie i'm pulling stuff out of it on everything that i'm looking at i take a teaching moment from it and that's the environment that the phalanx is we'll take no matter what it is and then how can we use this to our advantage to our betterment and making our life better and on all eight cylinders so it's now really need, fun now you need to tweet tweet andrew and, and, and come up with a movie that he can't do that to. I, I challenge everyone out there to do that. Yes, so that's a great thing. Movies. Yeah, you tweet me a movie that I could not turn it into. Now, any of the Saul, I think it's called Saul, right? Where, <laughs> is there any of those? I'm not. A, don't tweet me horror flicks because all you're doing is do. it's a hormone dump. It's one straight hormone dump after another. So, you know, with the whole fear base, shutting down half your brain. That's We do the opposite here. So don't send me any of the horror movies. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but that would be good. So, you know, the mental toughness movies, man. I love them. It, they're training films. So, uh, yeah, you know, it, so it's just it's just cool being around uh, people that are reaching for greatness of like-minded people that we and we literally do provoke one another to do better. And we I say provoke because it's like you, you don't want to let the guy down next to you, the girl down next to you. We're in the thing and there's just a there's almost a peer pressure to love one another and to cheer each other on and to spur one another instead of tearing people down, instead of criticizing. It's like the opposite, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, you have to surround yourself. With, you know, you don't want to be the smartest guy in the room. I mean, sometimes you might end up being that way, but that shouldn't be your desire. You should be seeking, you know, higher level, higher thinking individuals to challenge you to think. And I, and I like to think that my friends are, are highly intelligent, are critical thinkers, and they challenge me. I never feel like I'm the smartest one in the room. Now, I may feel like I'm smart, but I never feel like I'm the smartest one in the room when I'm with the people that I know. Yeah, and I'm with you, man. I don't really, I, you know, I surround myself with higher level thinkers, people that are more successful than me. And I try to be the bridge and help people bring people along. And so I'm, I'm, I'm reaching up up, and I'm reaching down and, and you know, helping people up. So, hey, we got to go to break. And when we get back, I want to I, I talk about this crazy NFL officiating stuff. I wanted to get on it last week, but I've got, I've got an axe to grind, baby. <laughs> Do you want to be warrior tough? Do you want your employees to be Warrior Tough too, with abilities to handle difficult situations as a well-oiled machine? Andrew Whitman has been teaching leadership, discipline, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and mental toughness for 30 years. His seminars build strong working relationships, high-performance teams, effective communication and crisis, and conflict management skills. 
He'll change the way you look at yourself, your company, your job, your life. He is dynamic, engaging, and stimulating in his presentation, and he can help you build and develop the leadership skills and high-performance skills needed for your team. He'll give you the tools that will not only increase the positive product output in business, but in your personal life as well. To get complete information on how Andrew can help you, call 864-977-1772 or log on to GetWarriorTough.com. 